Am I the meanest? Pawn's drunk. Am I the prettiest? Pawn's drunk. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Pawn's drunk. Well, who am I? Pawn's drunk. Who am I? Pawn's drunk. I can't hear you. Pawn's drunk. AKA Mr. Moon. Who shot himself? Of Harlem. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You already know this is Punch Drunk Boxing, aka Mr. Moo Shot himself, aka El Adobo, aka El Sazon, aka El Borracho, aka Café Bustelo, aka El Pastor de Boxeo. Mi gente, mi gente, breaking news, breaking news earlier. Subriel Matias, the IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World versus Liam Paro. Puerto Rico, Boricua, Carolina, Bayamón, Aguadilla, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Let's go. Let's go. Just like I told y'all folks what's going to happen. I told y'all what's going to happen. I told y'all they're going to build Subriel Matias. I look like they was listening to Punch Run. What's good? What's good, Jackie? Jackie, la reina de boxeo. Jackie, 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 Jackie. <laughs> Christian Padilla, one of the members of Punch Run Boxing. Let's go. Let's go. Another member of Punch Run Boxing said Matias wins because he's not fighting Tio. Okay. Okay. Everybody in the chat, God bless you. Everybody in the chat, what's good? What's good, everybody in the chat? Randy, Randy, la música de Randy con la bandera de República Dominicana. <laughs> Randy, la música de Randy, contra la música de Randy, la música de Randy. Vamos. Is he ready? He not ready. Is he ready? He not ready. Is he ready? He's not ready. Is he ready? He's not ready. Ahí. La mano está bien. <laughs> Ay. Matías, he's ready. Matías, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> Let's go, Alice Station. Pagame la música, Yankee Thing. Matías is ready, but he's not ready for. Tiofimo Lopez, but he's ready for Liam Paru. He's not ready for Tiofimo Lopez, but he's ready for Liam Paru. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like. Smash that like. Smash that like. Um, y'all already know the 140 pound division is one of the most stacked division in the sport of boxing. Probably the most interesting division in the sport of boxing is already going to be light. It already lit up with 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 um uh, T from Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz. It wasn't a spectacular performance. It wasn't an entertainment performance. It was boring performance. It was a boring event. It was supposed to be a great event. Super Bowl week. I was saying this is last year. Um, and I just think that Jermaine Ortiz didn't show up to put up a fight to actually, you know what I'm saying? He didn't fight like it was his first opportunity or probably the only opportunity for him to capture a world title. Um, and if two judges gave him 115, 113 to TFM Lopez, Jermaine Ortiz, man, hey, if he would have just put up a great performance or great effort or risked it more, maybe he would have came out with an upset victory, but he didn't want to win. He wanted to survive but then we're looking at one of the most lucrative division in, in the sport of boxing this year Devin the dream haney the wbc what junior waterway champion of the world putting up his title against ryan garcia ryan garcia in his last outing versus oscar duarte jr knocked him out of the eighth round but people still wasn't even it, it wasn't impressed with ryan garcia um and in, in, in all actuality, we should not not be impressed but we shouldn't have never you know what i'm saying really critiqued them so bad, yo. You know what I'm saying? It was just we critiqued them very, very bad. Uh yeah, I was eating some broccoli. Comida China. 
Hey yo, let me know if y'all getting the 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 um how you call it the the damn what you call it when you get in the notification. Let me know when you get in the notification, man. We it seems like I'm being like like a uh, um, shadow ban or something like that. It's either I'm being shadow banned, and it seems like the people just not intrigued with, with, the, with the content. I'm not sure. Here we go with the hair again. Here we go with the hair again. It wasn't even a KO and a pun. They calling you a groupie all over Twitter. Oh, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I heard a lot of feelings. You feel me? Some people gonna like the some people gonna like what I'm saying, other people gonna don't like what I'm gonna say because of uh, you gotta remember this is a tribal, this is tribal. You feel me? Every time there's a boxer that show punch run boxing support and love, they feel like you know what I'm saying, they they don't want to keep that, they just don't want to keep it boxing, you know. They 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 be thinking about some rainbow shit, you feel me? But it's all right, you know. You know, if I'm talking about, look, this is boxing. If I'm talking, if I'm critiquing Bud Crawford, the Earl Spence fans going to like it. If I'm critiquing Earl Spence, the Bud fans going to like it. If I'm critiquing Devin Haney, the T.O. fans going to like it. If I'm critiquing Tiafimo Lopez, the Devin Haney fans going to like it. If I'm critiquing Shakur Stevenson, the Tang Davis going to like it. It's tribal. I don't mind what people can look. Now the, there's, there's newbie Matias. I never met Matias fans. I never met a group of Matias fans in my life. But now is if I'm saying that Matias should go out there and, and his team should do a better job and his team should, should, should put him in New York City or his team should put him in front of the Puerto Rican people. I've been talking about this ish for a year plus, especially when he beat Bones. I've been talking about it. But it seems like people want to make believe like they don't know what I'm talking about. People all of a sudden don't want to believe. I definitely received the notification. All right, Brian Guzman in the building. Good looking out, Brian Guzman. Brian Guzman. Brian. Brian Guzman. Man, Matias fans are good. I ain't even going to look. Every fighter got their support system. Every fighter got their fan base. Some are bigger than others. Pause. You feel me? But I know in this community is a new B, is a new fan base of Matias. And I know... I know they didn't want to come out and party in, in, in terms of talking about party, in terms of really supporting this cat, because I never heard of all these fans. But it seems like it's not that it's, it's not it's not it's not Subir Matias fans. It's not because I've been in this. I've been in this community long enough to know fan bases. We know the Bud fan bases. We know the Earl Spins. We know the Deontay Wilders. We know the T.O.'s. We know the Haney's. We know the Tanks. We know the Ryan's. We know the, we know the, um, 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 you know, who else? We know the Inoues. We know the Lomas. We know the Canelos. We know. I never met a group of Matias fans, but the good thing about it is that these new fans that are supporting Matias, it's not that they're supporting Matias, it's that they're supporting Puerto Rico boxing. And they know that they have an opportunity to captivate the imaginations of, of the, the, the certain fighters like Super Matias is, is entertaining enough, dangerous enough, champion to captivate the imagination, the emotions of the Puerto Rican fan base. The Puerto Rican fan base been waiting to roar. The Puerto Rican fan base. I'm talking about the Tito fan base. The Cotto fan base. They've been waiting to roar, to scream, to yell. Puerto Rico! Shout out to Amanda Serrano because she's been keeping it. She's been, she been keeping the, 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 the energy alive. She been keeping the energy alive. Shout out to Amanda Serrano, the seventh division world champion. Middle, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, bandway undisputed. She been keeping it alive. But un hombre no, ta, no la está ayudando a ella. Where's the men that's help that's supposed to be help, helping the Amanda Serrano? We thought it was gonna be Edgar Balaga. Last year, people was talking about Edgar Balaga. Matter of fact, last year when we were talking about Puerto Rican boxing, people were saying that Shakur Stevenson was the number one Puerto Rican boxing. Here comes Subir Matias, and now they forgot that Shakur Stevenson is Puerto Rican. They forgot because now they feel like, oh, okay, forget. I, I, I mean, in, in New York City, the Puerto Ricans people love Tio. All right, he's not really Puerto Rican. Fuck it. And, and Shakur Stevenson, yeah, we got some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for keeping us. For you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Just we got him. We got some bread. <laughs> He said, bro, do you hate Pyro? No. Why would I hate? Why would I hate any fighter? Why would I hate any fighter? 
I don't understand. No, I don't hate no fighters. One of the awards, one of the gladiators, the one that put their life for the non for pure entertainment. I don't hate no fighters. I don't hate no fighters. Um, Duck, they said you only f with Latinos. I don't know, man. I uh, uh, they didn't say that when I was talking about the Mises Andre, right? They didn't say that, right? Straight face. They didn't say that when I was talking about the Mises Andre. That was another narrative, right? Oh, yo, punch run boxing only, only support Latinos. But what about Kid Austin? But you know, Dominican, right? What about Kid Austin? What about Boo Boo Andre? They they didn't say that about me over there. Come on, man. People just don't like this. This is boxing. People. Sometimes people don't like the truth. People want people want channel hosts to cater to their argument so they could go out there and argue with their friends and brag about their friends. Then sometimes they use boxing content creators to be to, to educate them because sometimes they're just too busy. I'm not saying that, they, that these people don't know no boxing, but the regular people are going to work, taking care of their family. They're not there trying to figure out who's in the rankings and stuff like that. So they listen on to boxing content creators or independent media on the road when they're going to work, when they're working out, just so they could stay up to date. Um, there's a lot of people out there that just want me to lie, you know, when to cater to their to 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 their argument. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I said a lot of times I said that um, people are comfortable with the lie. People are comfortable with the lie. It's not about the truth anymore. People are just comfortable with the lie. I told y'all a long time ago, it would be not. Uh, I told y'all several months ago that it would be stupid for Subrian Matias team to actually, actually, uh, um, um, accept TFM Lopez contract. To fight out there in top rank, one fight deal, and then if he loses, they never got to gain the Puerto Rican fan base. They never got to get the investment money back because for a fighter to invest a lot of money, it's a lot of money to invest in one fighter. Just think about the managers and the promoters that have invested in Matias. So what they do is get them to a position and then co-promote with a big with a big promotional company like like a Matchroom Box. And remember, it was supposed to be it was about to be PBC. Or was going to be a uh, match from boxing, as we all know, he went out there and ran 5k with with um um with Eddie Hearn, match from boxing CEO president. Shout out to Barry Hearn as well. Christian Padilla says, said, see me bottle, 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 pop, bottle, pulling the upset. <laughs> bottle, look, it's a great fight. I think it's I think it's a good I think it's a good fight. I'm not gonna say it's, uh, we got to limit we got to limit with special, great, awesome, and all the the, the terminology. Uh, I think it's a good fight for Subrin Matias. He's 32 years old, gonna be 33 years old. I think I think he, he turns 33 this month. I think he turned 33 already. I think he turned 33 this month or whatever and stuff like that. And you smash that like button, man. We we our numbers are very 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 terrible. Very. Let me see how many likes how many likes we got. Let me see if the people is we got. We got three. Let me see if the people really want 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 to. Let me see. Very very terrible, terrible, very terrible. Oh, Let's see how many likes we got so far. To enjoy. All right, we got nine. No, yo, I don't know why this thing does this. Hold on. Let me see what the support is at today. I'm 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 going to give out what what they give me. Let's see where's the support. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. How many likes we got? How many likes we got? We got 19 likes. 19 likes. 20. We got 19. We got 20. How many likes we got? Smash that like button. Let's push this to 30 right quick. Let's push this to 30 right quick. We got 23 people looking on. That's 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 that sucker, that suckers numbers. It don't get us nowhere. It get it gets us nowhere. We got 20. Let me see. 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 Let me see the, the, the likes. I'm not gonna keep on talking and keep on uh, and keep on um, working if there's no support. Where's the Matias supporters? Let me see where we at. I mean, it's hot in here, bro. How y'all like the fight? Let me see how. Let me let me see the poll. The poll. The poll. The poll. They say sixty-eight percent. Matias gonna be Pyro. But look, I think it's a good fight for Sh Subrin Matias. How old is Subrin Matias again? I know he was third. How old is Subrin Matias? How old is Subrin Matias?
Well, he's 31 years old. He's going to be 32. Let's see. I thought he was 32 years old already. Oh, he's going to be 32 this this week. He's going to be 32 years old this week. So he's well in his prime. He's going to be 32 this this week. We got 20 people looking on. Let's go. Hey yo man, let me let me hop out and let me let me see if people really wanna. He said, what up, punk? Demon or Charles had the cheese in the building. What's good, Castle? What's good? What's good? What's good, brother? What's good? What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Um, look, um, I think it's a good fight. I think it's damn, I got some bunch of boogers in my nose, man. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good fight, and I've been telling y'all. I've been telling you all a lot of times that, you know, that Subrema Matias is not going to be fighting Tiafim Lopez. It was small by his team not to push Subrema Matias to fight Tiafim Lopez. If Tiafim Lopez would have beat him in, 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 in a, um, what was it, a uh, Super Bowl Super Bowl week, then they would have never capitalized on Subrema Matias and the investment they made on Subrema Matias. This was a good business move. I've been saying for quite some time that Subrema Matias need to captivate the imagination, the emotion of the Puerto Rican fan base, and this is going to be the first fight to do it, right? I was saying a fight in front of the Puerto Rican fan base, whether it's New York, whether it's in the, in the East Coast, but of course, fighting in Puerto Rico, that's that, that's a great that, that's a great move by, by Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn, his team. Great move because I do believe that there's a gold mine there. I do believe, and I said it, I've been saying this since last year, that the, the year before I've been saying that Subrema Matias have the capability because they're, because he has the advantage of captivating the Puerto Rican fan base, which is a loyal, lucrative fan base in the sport of boxing, especially out here in America. He got the opportunity that he fights and beats uh, uh, um, Paru in a spectacular performance out there in Puerto Rico and then come to New York City and beat the crap out of Richard Hitches in Brooklyn. I've been saying this. And then 2025, June 2025, Puerto Rican Day Parade, Tiafima Lopez versus Subrema Matias, Madison Square Garden will be sold out. And I said also by the by, by, by that time, Subrema so Matias will go on to that type of fan base, that lucrative fan base, that he will probably be the A side to a Tio, to a, a to, to a Haney, to anybody, probably uh, uh, outside of Ryan Garcia and outside of Javante Tan Davis. Subrema so Matias could captivate that type of fan base, that type of lucrative. That's that that's that's the opportunity. So I always said it, but people wanted to go back and forth for punch run boxing and be like, he wanted a fight. No, porque la mano estaba en no era la mano. Que esta la maldita boca no era la mano. It was a business decision. Charles and the cheese in the building. Man, they say why boxing can't ever give us the natural fights, bro? Because. They don't, I, 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 yo, Charles, I've spoken to people, to, to boxing people, boxing personnel, power players. First, they feel like the boxing fans are bipolar. They, people, yo, I'm telling you, like, yo, if I would have recorded that conversation I had with the WBO president Paco, with the WBC pre, um, 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 ambassadors, and we was, we was in the hotel chilling, eating pizza, and the way that these, and, 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 I'm not going to say I mentioned mention names because, of course, a lot of things was off the records and stuff like that. I just said that I was talking to him, but there was other people in, 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 in the in the in the bar, in the bar. We was talking boxing. Most of the boxing personnel think that the boxing fans are bipolar. They call the boxing fans in YouTube idiots. They don't know. They say that we act that the fans don't know what they want, that they don't know the sport. No, they know the business of boxing. So that's why I've been saying that. That we got to act up because these guys don't trust in us. They don't believe in us. First, they think that certain fan base are, are, are thieves. That's why I say thieves because even Tim Smith said that the fans was going to rob Earl Spence and Bill Crawford. And they did because 600 k for the best fight in the sport of boxing for me was a flop. How can you do f half of what Javante San Davis and Ryan Garcia got? But this is supposed to be the biggest fight with the biggest with the biggest accomplishment. 
So it was crazy. It was crazy that it did 600K for me. That was a flop. People said that it was a, it's a success. I think that was a flop for, for the sport of boxing. Okay, we know the sport may be not the business. Yeah, the business, the, the business of boxing is doing alive and well. The sport is 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 really is really dangling, but I think it's gonna come around. I think it's gonna come around, and it needs to be the support of and, and I, that's why I said I did the video the last time. It needs to be the support of the fans towards the towards the fighter that's that's going for Lexi Reign the Supreme. See, if you got these fans that's going to hate on Tio and look at his accomplishment, then Tio is gonna turn into a fighter like look, look how look how they talk, look, look what his father said over here. And, and, and on my last slide, he said, now I told my son, why are we going to do the hard work? We don't get respect. Let's fight somebody else. We don't got, we don't, we don't got to kill ourselves. You see how it's changing? Because they don't feel the respect collectively that they're, that they're supposed to earn. Right. I mean, Devin Haney, he's, he, he gets hate as well. Shakur Stevenson, the three division world champion, he gets hate as well. Okay. All right. We're, I think we, we made our, our, our feelings felt with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson after the fight said that that was a bad performance by him. Right. But then we're just, you, you just devalue and devalue and keep on talking. Oh, he's bored. I don't care. We don't see him and stuff like that. Then he's like, yo, why do I got to fight? I'm a three division world champion. Y'all going to act like I ain't do nothing. You know, so boxing is, is really, really paying attention just to pure entertainment. A lot of fans don't care who, who they beat. Look, look at Subir Matias. There's a lot of people that are saying that Subir Matias is going to kill everybody now. Just be, and, and, when he, and actually, when he killed the dude, ain't nobody really talking about Subir Matias. So now, Subir Matias, oh, my God, he could beat Teal. Oh, my God, he could beat Haney. Oh, my God, he beats everybody at 140 because the illusion. But then look who he's for. But okay, if that's what the fans want to see, that's what the fans want to see. I mean, I blame Buff for that. <laughs> I blame both of them because I think that Earl Spence was too friendly too. You know what I'm saying? I think that Earl Spence was too friendly. I don't think they promoted that real well, in my opinion. Um, said for whatever reason, no one likes him. I I, I think I think people don't want to state the truth about. Uh, uh, he, he's he's not. Uh, Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford rarely does interview. He don't have that character. He doesn't have that presence. He doesn't, even when he does an interview, there is no headline when he talks. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't create a headline when he talks. He doesn't do a lot of interviews. He don't have that good personality and stuff. Look, he was, a, he was, he was with, with, with Gilly the Kid and, and Wallow, uh, 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 one of the, one of the, one of the major podcasts. And what was the headline of that, of that, of that episode? Them calling boots. That's it. I remember nothing about that, but just them calling boots. There was no headline. Even when T from Lopez come to punch wrong boxing, we created a headline. We created a headline. Even Shakur Stevenson came to punch wrong boxing. We created a headline. You know what I'm saying? Er, um, Buck Crawford doesn't create a headline. And to be honest, maybe he doesn't. I know, I know guys don't want to talk about it, but we all understand. But we, we look, look, look. I know guys don't want to talk about it, but maybe, maybe, but, but Terrence Bud Crawford don't have that type of appeal for any, for any product. I, do you want Bud Crawford to, 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 um, to promote your shampoo, to promote your, 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 your Gatorade? It's a fail también, pero eso, it is what it is. <laughs> we just got to be honest with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? He's probably not, uh, he doesn't attract, um, um, he doesn't attract. You know these 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 companies. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine Bud Crawford? Okay, smart water. I'm fair of him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, I don't want to drink that water. That that water is dirty. Evelda, <laughs> Evelda. Hey, I'm just saying the truth. That's the thing that failed. But we know that already. It's a thing that failed. <laughs> you don't you don't want to promote. You don't want to promote your product. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Smash the like, smash the cry is a fighter, not a promoter. He is a fighter, not a promoter. But guess what? Maybe he's just not. Look, he's just not. Uh, a, it is what it is. It's not to catch feelings or anything like that. Like, yo, we know, we we know, we don't gotta be, we don't gotta be women to understand why Ryan Garcia sells and get honeys. 
We don't gotta, we don't got we 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 understand, bro. We understand, we understand Javante Tan Davis can get the honeys and stuff like that. We understand pretty boy Floyd, we understand Oscar de la Hoya. I mean, they did wonders with Mike Tyson, bro. <laughs> they tried, they even, but even Mike Tyson back in the days had swag, though. You know what I'm saying? The haircut bomb. He had swag. He had the New York swag. He was like, you know what I'm saying? That bad boy. He was that bad boy. You feel me? So, you know, but but Bud don't even have no character. He don't have no personality on camera. On camera, he just doesn't have it. You feel me? So, it is what it is. Um, But this fight, this fight is good. Shout out to his team. Um, Let me see what the poet is saying right now. Uh, the people feel like 73%, 73% feel like Subrema Tease is going to be Liam Faro. It's a good move, but it would be fun to watch Crawford beat the brakes off Teal. Yeah, hey, hey, I want to see that fight. I want to see that fight. I want to see that fight. I want to see that if that could happen. Or maybe that, there'll be an upset and then Teal from Lopez exposed that maybe Bud Crawford was not the guy that everybody think he was. <laughs> Oh, but forget about Book Crawford. It's about Subriel Matias Paru, the 140 pound division. And what does a Subriel Matias victory does? If Subriel Matias beats Liam Paru, whether it's by decision, whether it's by, I hope it's not by decision. I hope that he keeps that streak in retiring. I got, I got Subriel Matias beating the crap out of Liam Paru. I got Subriel Matias dando una, una pecosa a Liam Paru. I got Subriel Matias beating him in front of the Puerto Rican people and feel the adrenaline and stuff like that. A darle a par de pecosa a ese tigre. And then people will be like, Matias, Matias, because that's what I want. That's what we need. And then you come to New York City, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, baby, Brooklyn on Madison Square Garden because we was on match room, Madison Square Garden versus Richardson Hitches. I don't give a damn. Hey, yo, matter of fact, if I was from Brad Matias, I'll tell Richardson Hitches until the IBF, look, let's scratch that, 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 that 10 pound rehydration clothes. Just get Richard Hitchison in the ring. He's from Brooklyn, New York, Puerto Rico, knock him out. Boom, head into June 2025 with Teofimo Lopez, Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rican Day Parade, and blow the roof off Madison Square Garden. That's the plan. That's the game plan. That's the business plan that I've been saying since day one. But you guys, some of you, some of you guys, viene papa de ronqui, habla de esta mierda, vi que no. So bien, Matías, él le mandó el contrato porque tú sabes que le tenía la mano, te tenía la mano, tú sabes, estaba, no, 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 estaba, no estaba buena la mano y tú sabes que estaba Inge Punch Strong Boxing, de la tabla no mierda, Punch Strong Boxing, él le dio el contrato porque él sabía que estaba, que, 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 que estaba broken, please, man, come on, man, come on, y'all believe that mess? And there was the other narrative. Oh, y también top rank le mandó un contrato que no tenía Tiafimo Lopez. Mira, esa mentira. And y'all believe that lie too. So top rank that got nobody in 140. So tell me. <laughs> so tell me this. Tell me this. Tell me this. They, they, was, they, they gave a contract to Subir Matias. you telling me that top rank, you telling me the top rank will put Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Tia from Lopez versus Tia from Lopez versus um um Lomachenko, huh? Lomachenko Haney, Haney Cambosa, Cambosa Lomachenko, huh? Navarrete Consocial, huh? Yeah, Richard Richard Comey and Tio, right? They will put everybody against each other, but they will really give a contract to Supreme Matias at 140 pounds, and they didn't guarantee the Tia from Lopez fight. Mira esa mentira, y'all believe that? I believe that. Why people could be why people be lying like that just to just to save face, just like well, why, 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 what it what it does to y'all to lie like that, huh? So, top rank offer Subrema T as a contract without a Teofima Lopez. That's they did they did that to Devin Haney. So they was you think that top rank is in the business of just spending money on Subrema Matias and don't put him up against nobody? If he wasn't at 140, if Subram, if they didn't guarantee the uh, a Tia Fima Lopez fight, tell me who's on the list? Anybody? Who was in the list? Because who does top rank have at 140? Who was in the list? Hmm. 
but people will believe it. People will believe it for whatever reason. People will believe it. But your boy, Mr. Moonshine, is here to speak truth. Your boy, Mr. Moonshine, a.k.a. El Adobre, Sazón, El Borracho, El Pastor de Buceo, is here so you won't get, so y'all won't get, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm lied to. You feel me? Bro, you just pumped me up. They need to hire you to do commentary and promoting fight. That's what I'm talking about, VD. That's what I'm talking about, VD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need, they need to check me out, bro. They need to check me out. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Start to smash that like. Wow. Wow. Anyway, let's keep that. Let's keep that energy, 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 energy. Um. Have y'all heard? Shout out to me. Uh, um, shout out to. Uh, did did y'all hear? Panda Panda said that Devin Haney will fight Teofimo Lopez before. Um, Subrim, uh, I mean, he will fight Subrim Matias quicker than Teofimo Lopez was, something like that. I understand they have to cater to this this matchroom thing, this narrative that so so Haney will fight Matias and Teo won't, but Teo is the one that sent the contract, and Banda, the trainer of Subrim Matias, was the one to say that the contract was sent, but Teo wouldn't fight Matias, huh? My boy Punch in the CNN of boxing, and Matias is Trump. Been trying to prove the man ain't legit since since they heard his name, and he just keeps growing and proving and proving wrong. Mm? Let's see, let's see, let, but let's see this fight. Let's see what this fight. Y'all, do y'all feel like there's a good fight, ladies and gentlemen? Do y'all feel like there's a good fight, Liam Paru versus Supreme Matias? How you like the resume of Liam Paru? I mean, Liam Paru have yet. I don't think that Liam Paru has yet fought a world champion. Uh, 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 ex-world champion, uh, an elite fighter, and I don't think the Subrema Matias has fought. Philip, Philip said yes. Philip said yes. Rap Star Boxing Honors, the voice of the UK London, says smash that like Eddie has to do his business. Boxing ain't waiting on Teal. They go where the next big show. They ain't waiting on Teal. They ain't trying to go to Teal. They trying to save save Subrema Matias, put a bubble wrap all over Subrema Matias, and head into 2025. That's all, but, but but because he's a hated fighter, then this is a good fight for Subrim Matias. This is a good fight because Liam Paru, because if Tio will fight Liam Paru, there will be criticism. I mean, there was criticism of him fighting Jermaine Ortiz. There was criticism of him going to be fighting Sando Martin. Huh? And, P, and you know what I'm saying? For a champion... I think that this champion should be, if they send a contract to Liam Paru and they send the contract to, to, to Michelle Rivera, why they didn't send a contract to Tiafuma Lopez? Why wasn't there any reports about um, Eddie Hearn set, um, 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 sending a contract to Tiafuma Lopez? Nobody want to question that? Does it need, well, what, it's only Punch Rumbox is going to question it? Hmm? Is 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 anybody gonna question that? Why didn't Eddie Hearn send the contract to Teofimo Lopez like they did Michelle Rivera, like they did Liam Paru? Nobody gonna question that. But then y'all gonna say that Matias wants to fight with Teofimo Lopez. And all I'm telling y'all is that his team, his team, fighters will fight anybody. This is what they do. At fighters will fight anybody. This is what they do. This is their job. But it's the job to the promoters and the manager to protect their investment and wait for the time is right to risk that product. That's it. That's it. But like Tio complained to the zone, you send me up, set me up. Yeah, but they all go at each other and they still they, they will still they will still do a uh, they will still do business. You know what I'm saying? How many times do we hear Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn go back and forth? And look at Frank Warren. How many times we seen Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn go back and forth and they're working together? This is business. They don't give a damn about that little chip. chip the little, little, little back and forth. His team is trying to maximize the dollars. It's smart. Thank you, Lewis. It's smart. That's what I've been saying. So why, 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 why anybody want to? Why anybody want to test what I'm saying? That's what I've been saying since day one. His team is trying to maximize the dollars. It's smart. But then don't say, oh, that. That that the Matias the Matias the 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 Tio's looking Matias. You gotta pick one, Lewis. You gotta pick one. His team is trying to maximize his dollars. He said Tio overpriced himself. What are you talking about, Eric Gomez? He the one that delivered the contract, and Subrim Matias says, 
Yo, I, I really don't know boxing fans out there. I, I, I don't. Yo, it was Super Matias that came out. It was Super Matias' team that said that they was cool with the contract, but they they couldn't fight February eighth. So nobody, nobody. <laughs> Damn it. There's a lot of people pay attention to the sport of boxing. Give us the fights and the dollars, Will Max. I like that. I like that. Give us the fight and the dollars, Will Max. At this point, ain't nobody Flo Mayweather. Ain't nobody Oscar De La Hoya, right? So the fight will make the money. So, hey, you know what? Maybe Tia from Lopez can't sell out Madison Square Garden in the big room. And Matias can't do it alone either. But together they can. Together they can. Maybe Devin Haney can't sell out by himself, but with Ryan, he can. Ryan Garcia ain't do the same type of um putting bust in the seat like he did with Javante Tan David with Oscar Duarte. Thing. But with Devin Haney, they can. So we're living in a time right now, especially now more than ever, that the fight is the money fight. The fight. So, so is he relevant when we're talking about, oh, this guy's the A side and this guy's the B side? The fight. The fight is going to make the money. So you're right about that. I agree 100% with what Keso is saying. Um, but let's see um, what these guys are made of. Liam Pavel, who are we really talking about? A lot of hype with, with Subra Matias and a lot of credit going to Liam Pavel. I don't see no hate going with um, going to Matias, no Liam Pavel. Um, let's go with box rec since a lot of people check box rec. I don't believe too much in box rec, but there's the names, right? This is your top 20 on box rec. Your top 20, and this is Liam Paru. Liam Paru, let this Subir Matias on your top left or your top right, wherever, wherever you place your phone. And that's the that's the last fights for Subir Matias. And then your bottom left or your bottom right, wherever you at, is Liam Paru's um last several fights. And on the left hand side or the right hand side, whatever we are, we have, that's the top 20. None, none of Subram, no Subram Matias, nor nor Liam Paru has beaten or fought top 20 fighters in box. You could just say box rec, right? right? Um, um, Subram Matias for Urkashev, retired. Bonse, retired. Anayang, retire. Uh, that was a rematch. Juka Makafuka, retire. Hawkins, Malik Hawkins, retire. I never heard about all these names in my life. But then we're going to Liam Paru, right? He beat Montana Love. We heard about Montana Love, but I did a video about Montana Love. I said he was the bootleg Adrian Broner. He was the Canal Street Adrian Broner. I never had, I, I never thought nothing of Montana Love, to be honest. I, I did a short about that several couple of years ago. I never talked, I really never wanted to talk about him because I feel like he was a, he was just a, a, a a decorated, a, a decorated um Adrian Broner. Um, Brooke Harvest. All right, he was undefeated. That was in, in Australia. Alamo, that was in Tampa, I believe so. Steve Gago, um, that was in Australia. Um, Terry, that was in Australia, I believe so. James, I never heard about these guys, ladies and gentlemen. Have you heard about these guys? I'm a hardcore boxing fan, but I really never heard um Eto tigre que que de de Super Matias and and um and and Liam Pyro has ever fought. Um, let's see in the rankings. We see Devin Haney. He about to fight Ryan Garcia, and he beat Regis Pro Grace. Um, Tiafimo Lopez has beaten um Josh Taylor, Jermaine Ortiz. Look, look, look at this, look at this, folks. Tiafimo Lopez in the top twenty has beaten Josh Taylor, Sandal Martin. And Jermaine Ortiz. Look at that. So that means that Tiafima Lopez, out of everybody, has fought the most, the most ranked, high-ranked fighters, right? So shout out to Tiafima Lopez. That's why that's why we 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 here in Punch Run Boxing support Tiafima Lopez because we're here to preserve the sport of boxing, preserve the modern day wars, modern day gladiators. And Tiafim Lopez is one of those fighters of this generation that have set the tone. That's why I've called them for years, the captain of the generation, the commander in chief, because he's leading this generation um, in, in, in fighting, um, you know, high competition. Um, so, Subra Matias have fought nobody in the top 20 and Liam Pyro has fought nobody in the top 20. But yet this is a good fight. This is a good fight, I guess. You know what I'm saying? They both in the same stage of their career, I guess. 
um they fighting unknown fighters um none has four world champions gatekeepers elite fighters top 10 fighters maybe within the within their their sanctioning bodies yes i believe that liam power was number four in the ibf um uh, but it is what it is um i would have liked maybe you know super matias if he would have fought maybe uh i hope he fights richards and hitchens um the Michelle Rivera is there, but he's finally leaving power when they fought. They're both fighting each other. So this is the first time that both of these guys are fighting high rank, um, high rank 140 pounders. And um, Subra Matias has been in the 140 pound his whole career. One thing about I said about Subra Matias that yes, he's a dangerous puncher. Does don't know. Uh, he's still he's still, in my opinion, in the passing of the eye test mode. I don't know if he's the if factor yet. Honestly, bro, I think Pyro might beat Matias. I mean, I think they're in the same. I, I, I think that this could be a 50 50 fight in terms of skill set. I think this is a 50 50 fight. Um, I'll be rooting for Subra Matias because I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Subra Matias on this one, but I really don't know who's going to win this fight. I feel when it comes to skill set, I do think that it is a 50 50 fight. I think um, um, Subra Matias' power has been, you know, is. is is real. It's real. You know what I'm saying? He's retiring fighters. He's not just knocking these guys out. He's making these guys quit or making the corner quit. You feel me? To save them to, to, to fight another day. Um, so I don't know really where the hype is at yet. Um, uh, he said, nah, fuck that punch is up and it's stuck. What are you talking about? He says, up and stuck. Pause. Hey, yo, what's stuck, man? Hey, yo, man. Lubricant. Hey, yo, man. Put some Vaseline on sign up. <laughs> hey, yo, man. No diddy, man. No diddy, man. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. Hey, yo, don't worry. We got, hey, yo, prayers for diddy, man. Prayers for diddy. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We got to, hey, yo, we got to stop that. Prayers, prayers for diddy. He said, wait, punch, address Diddy's rumors. Prayers for Diddy. That's all I got to say. Prayers for Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Put it this way. Is, is as this the, the guilty until proven innocent is as bad as the allegations? You feel me? That's what I'm saying. He said, get Diddy out of here. Nah, nah, I mean, I mean, like, let, let, let's let's be real. Let's be real, man. We don't want that. Imagine, Im imagine it happened to you. Somebody alleged. Look what happened to Roly. Remember what happened to Roly? And remember I did a video about it? And I said it was unfair. I was mad at Showtime for that. I was mad. When these girls was alleged that he did something to them and then they all magically, all magically disappeared. Y'all don't think that's effed up? When girls come out of nowhere and say that you that you violated them, that you raped them, and then they all just magically disappear and stuff like that, and then nothing happens to those women. Nah, 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 nah. He he hasn't been he hasn't been charged. He hasn't been uh, um guilt. He's not guilty yet. But of public opinion, everybody's talking. And where's his friends? Where's his friends? Where's all those people that used to go to his parties? Where's all those people that bump his music? All the people that always wanted to capitalize off Diddy. What happened to them? Where are they? Because alleged? Nah, 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 nah. Nah. I feel like there was. I feel like there's a witch hunt. I'm not gonna say these people are perfect, but I believe there's a witch hunt. There was a witch hunt on Cosby. Witch hunt on on, on Michael Jackson. Witch hunt on on. Hey, yo, man, I don't believe. I'm sorry, I don't believe. There's too much. He said. Shaw said there's too much evidence. I don't know. It, it it hasn't been. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. Let 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 let. Let everything come out. Let him be guilty in the court of law. But I don't know. All I know is a bunch of people was rocking with Diddy. And if and if it took all this time, and Diddy always with the Busta Rhymes and the Jay-Z and the and the Kanye and the and the DJ Cali. So I want so 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 they all went to all this party. All these guys always chill with Diddy, but they don't know what's going on. Come on, man. That's like you being in the block with your boy, right? And let's say he, he, he's, selling, he's, he's selling dope in the corner, and you chill with your boy every other day. 
but you don't know that he's he, he's selling dope in the corner. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. No, Diddy was diddling. <laughs> oh, that's back. It's bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> It's bigger than Nino Brown. I put that. Yeah, yo, okay, so I put that on Twitter. Huh? He said, if I'm going down, I'm taking a whole lot of people down with me. <laughs> he said, Lewis said he's guilty, bro. He said, man, I don't know that, man. Hey, yo, Lewis, I never want, I, I, I would never want you or anybody in the chat for uh, some allegations and never, and, and, and nobody never proved it. You feel me? How can you say he's guilty? I don't, we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I don't know, man. I don't know. I probably think different. You feel me? I, I let shit play out. I mean, if people want to joke around where well, we could make, we could make jokes about it, but I let things like that play out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm seeing it too much. He said, Philip said, come on, punch. You see, y'all want me to say right away that that's it. That, that, that yeah. He's wet willing everybody, uh, dry buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's you over to say he's wet William but a uh, uh, dry buttholes, Harry but Harry dry buttholes, huh? <laughs> All right, man, that's so malo, that's so malo, that's so malo. Hey, yo, Panda, the trainer of Subram Matias, what do you feel about what he's saying about that Devin Haney? Will fight Subram Matias quicker than Tio, or he is the best at 140. What do you feel about that? You feel like he's genuine about that? That Haney is the best at 140, even though the Tifo Lopez is the lineal champion. Do you feel about it? Because I feel like there is, I understand why, I understood why Banda talks so good about Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? I know why. And I'm not saying don't talk good. It's good. But I know why he talks good. Do you know why he talks good about Devin the Dream Haney? Do y'all know why? Punch, you know deep down in your heart that Diddy's is guilty. Stop it. You know he's guilty. Damn, see, it's what Milo. Yeah, oh, I got to say he's good. I don't know, bro. I never went to a pool party. I'm not with, I, I don't know. I, I'm not Devin Haney. I never went to a pool party. I don't hug him. I don't, I'm not like Javante Ten Davis. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing, bro. I don't know. How you going to say you know he's guilty? I haven't even checked. All I've been hearing is a bunch of headlines. I haven't even dived into whatever he's alleged or, or, or the papers, to be honest. I just feel like, you know, it's a constant thing. Go after, he said, P. Diddy pools, uh, pees in the pool. And the cloud take it away. Panda is mad just because T.O. ignored him in the airport. Elvis. <laughs> Nah, that's why I said deep down in your heart. I don't know. Pool party of broke back hotel. <laughs> um, nah. See, it's because Banda, who is trainer of of Subrema Matias, is really Team Haney. <laughs> He's really Team Haney. One day in the Dominican Republic, I saw a fight. I saw a fight with the fighter that I actually um, advised, um, um, Henry La, La um, Cedeno La Basucar Martinez. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know. I advise, I advise a couple fighters. Henry is one of the fighters that I, I, I do advise. I got him signed to. Um, I helped him get signed to to Kenny Porter's um, management. Right. Um, he's twelve and 0, 10 KOs. You feel me? I've done the videos about him. Y'all see me in the corner. I was a second-hand coach and everything like that. Um, but I the the time that I've seen Panda, the time that I seen Panda was actually in the corner of Devin Haney. Y'all, re, y'all don't remember that? Y'all don't remember when Panda trained Devin Haney? Y'all don't remember? Y'all don't remember? Is this new to y'all? Is this new? Is this new? What was Haney doing with Diddy in the pool? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. He said, Lewis. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all know I'm the master of receipts, right? Punch, if Diddy invites you to the mansion party in New York this week and you're going, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to the party. Why not? I know how to handle myself. This is New York City. huh? I know how to see the honeys. And avoid the 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 crazy shit on, on the left hand side or the right hand side. 
My eyes on the prize. Get the model. Get the good honeys. <laughs> he said, what? Oh, my God. Come on, man. What are you talking about? You won't go to Diddy's party. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I will go to Diddy's party. Yeah. I will go to Diddy's party. Man, y'all playing around. Y'all looking at it like there ain't going to be no good-looking chicks out there in Diddy's party. He said, just bring your own drinks. Yeah, I don't. I'm, yeah, I won't drink either, man. I, I, I'll, I'll pregame. Just tell him no. <laughs> They're going to put, put something on punch. <laughs> I'm going to Diddy's party. And I'm going to be listening to R. Kelly, too. I don't give a damn. Uh, y'all can play all that, all that liberal shit y'all want and, fo and follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. No, no, no. I'm going to Diddy's party and I still play R. Kelly. Hit it hard from the back. Roll around to the front. I see you heard a lot of tracks. But 12 plays what you want. My mind is telling me no. But my body. You think I'm going to put that away because it's allegation? Mentira. Eh? So I'll be pumping R. Kelly on my, uh, in the car. Huh? F y'all. Look at the damn what y'all say. But my body is telling me yes. Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody. But there's something that I must confess. I'm listening to R. Kelly. I don't give a damn what y'all say. I don't give a damn what you're saying. You can hate me now. But I won't stop now. Oh, you think I'm going to stop pumping Nas and, 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 and that anthem? Come on, that's one of the best hip-hop anthems of all time. You can hate me now. Oh, no, you think I'm going to, I'm not going to play that song. Huh? Man, you must be out the damn mind. Please. Please. Why people ain't let go of Elvis? Why should we let go of Diddy? Pause. Huh? Why people ain't let go of Elvis? Didn't Elvis get mad? Didn't Elvis marry a 14-year-old? Huh? And he's still Elvis. He said, damn, bro, I'm on my headphones. You killing me with the... Hey, yo, man, just say, hey, yo, punch. You got the, got, got the vocals. I got the vocals. <laughs> he said, dude, R. Kelly's not an allegation. The dude have videos. So what? So what if you got videos? Like, like a 15, 16, 17-year-old don't, don't know when she getting peed on. Huh? You, you guys are acting up. Oh, there's a video of R. Kelly peeing on a girl. Man, please, that woman, man, yo, that, that, that last chick was like probably like 15, 16 years old. Like she don't know that, what getting peed on is. Huh? Man, I got teenagers, man, please. I got, I got a teenage son, man. We He talks about girls. He knows what to do with a girl. I already have said, man, a bunch of y'all lost y'all virginity at the age of 13. You don't know when somebody's peeing on you? You don't know that? <laughs> what is that? I can't believe what is that? Ah, uh, what is that? <laughs> Man, please, man, stop, man. I ain't fine on that. I don't give a damn what anybody say. If you 15 year old, you getting peed on, and you don't and you don't know that's man, you deserve to get peed on. Shit, fuck that. I don't give a damn. <laughs> nah, okay. okay. <laughs> man, you that egg? I don't give a damn what y'all say. I I got. Man, I, I I'm not lying, bro. Look, look, look at that. Look, give me. I'm, I'm. This is my playlist. God damn. Look, hold on. And I share my playlist for the people. I can share my playlist with the people. Look, hold on. Hold on. Where's the? I ain't gonna play the songs, but I'm gonna show you my playlist. Look, I got. Look, look, look. Moonshine. Baby making music. Moonshine. That's my prayer. Look, honey love. It seems like you're ready. Half on the baby. Look, I was playing it early in the car. Look. Look, I was playing it early in the car. Look at that. Oh, I'll be listening to R. Kelly. I'll be stuck in the red light like that. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly, I don't give a damn, bitch. You ain't ready. I can smell your perfume. Step into my bedroom. Let me love you constantly. Oh, 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 your body is my playground. Let me lick you up and down. Come on, you crazy? You think I'm, you think I'm going there? Okay, I'm Kelly. For 
must be goddamn. That's the best. And yo, all Kelly got the best top three catalogs in music history. Shit. You must be crazy. Working out the slow jams. That, that's what I'm talking about, Charles and the Cheese, right? You get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially on the age range, right? Go on a date, pop a champagne or pop a wine. You feel me? Either you order some food or you, you cook. You feel me? And you pop that, pop the Bluetooth on, pop some slow jam so she know you a grown man, right? Oh, my gosh. Shit. That used to be my shit. <laughs> that was my shit. Oh my god! Shit, take you back to middle school and shit like that, man. As a matter of fact, take you back when you when 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 you lost the virginity and stuff like that. Come on, man. Come on, that's the best music. Keep sweat, huh? How about how about the TP two, the TP two album? You know, yeah, when the girls, when when the when the girls is heartbroken, right? What the what was the song with the hurt when the girls are heartbroken, huh? Huh? When a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about nothing you can do about it. The girls used to love that shit. It's like running out of love, no matter how you beg. No, then it's too late to talk about. Too late to talk about. Come on. I used to make love to you daily, but the night felt the same. And every time when you were hurt, I could feel your pain. When I had a dollar, it was yours, yeah. Shit. I don't want to hear my own. <laughs> Has anybody bought all Kenny catalog yet? That's what, hey, yo, to be honest, in my opinion, in my opinion, that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. You got to remember that that my, that R. Kelly's catalog also had Michael Jackson. Remember, he wrote for Michael Jackson. He wrote for he wrote for um, Whitney Houston. He wrote from Celine Dion. He wrote for a lot of R and B artists. His royalty, his catalog was priceless. That's what they wanted from R. Kelly. What about Michael Jackson? Look at Michael Jackson. When he bought the Beatles catalog, you don't think they wanted Michael Jackson? As soon as he started buying that, you remember that? But Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby was about to, he wanted shares on NBC. Come on, man. This is a witch hunt. This is a witch hunt. Diddy. Diddy. Come on, man. He got one of the best catalogs in hip hop history, bro. You think he's ever going to sell the Biggie catalog? Huh? Come on, man. This is the winch hunt. That's what I'm saying. Prove me wrong. Punch, pull out the Diddy and the Devin Haney. I got, I got, what about, what about, R you remember the song with R. Kelly and Diddy? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the, the R. Kelly and Diddy kind of, um, song? Let me see where it goes. Hold on. Let me see if I can add. I like that Diddy, the last Diddy album too. Go fuck what y'all say. I like the damn Diddy album, the last Diddy album. Not a Diddy. I like that. What was it? Do that shit. Do that shit. Do it. Do that. Mm -mm. Come on, man. It was the R. Kelly album right here. Satisfy you. Hold on. Woo! Ooh, baby. You remember this? I'm going to put it right quick so I don't get flagged. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, I'm gonna put it right here. Tell me I don't like this song. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> ah, what you talking? Do you 
like I do. So give it to me. I'm gonna earn it, earn it, real love. And I can promise anything that I do is just to satisfy you. Man, please. You think I'm gonna turn that off? You think I'm gonna turn that off? Got it here, man. Let them do what they gotta do, man. I'm all about I'm all about the music. I'm not in it for your life. I don't give a damn what you are, I don't give a damn who you are. You got give you gonna give me some good music, I'm gonna jam to it. <laughs> he said, I ain't never heard anybody play Diddy. Yes, you have, Savage. Yes, you have, bro. You in the club, the Kavos. Come on, man. Stop it. He said he never heard nobody play Diddy music. You lying. You are lying, bro. Hold on, I got you right here. You don't hear Nas, you can hate me now? No, 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 you, you, you never play that. You never play that. You never play that. How about, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Hold on. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Give me a second. How about this? 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 Uh huh. No, no. I savage. You ain't play that, right? Ah, uh, you ain't never play that. Don't this shit, nigga? What it? What up? Huh? So what this shit? Pass a fool. You better act that thing in. Ah, uh, uh. uh, come on. You not in the club like that with the honey? Pass a Cavall C8. Pass a Pass a Cavall C8. And you playing it right. Hey, yo, matter of fact, hey, yo, I'm going to put a whole Diddy song and I'm going to be playing it. <laughs> Why y'all fronting, man? Don't be fronting on social media. Hey, yo, don't be, hey, yo, I'm going to tell you like this, folks. Don't be fronting on social media. Don't get bullied. Don't get bullied trying to act like, shit, I ain't, ain't going to listen to Diddy. I ain't never going to listen to 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 R. Kelly. I ain't never going to listen to Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? You see what they did with the little kid, man? Please, you was, you was moonwalking. I was still moonwalking. Huh? I'm going to make a change. <laughs> For once in my life, <laughs> gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. <laughs> Crazy. I ain't never gonna say. I never stop listening to Michael Jackson. I give a damn. I don't give a damn. If he's dangling his son over the balcony. Let him do that. Let him throw his son out the out the damn window. I don't give a damn. I'm listening to his music. <laughs> <laughs> huh? How about yeah, yeah? How about how about how about um, um Prince? Look how Prince used to look like, huh? Prince is fruitier than anybody else that I've ever met in my life, huh? But when that purple rain, purple rain, woo! Purple rain, purple rain, yeah. Purple rain, purple rain. That little midget, little little rainbow midget, huh? We still, we still pumping purple rain, all right? Now, rap star, his friend in London, they love Elton John. Rap star favorite artist is Elton John, and and rap star, he feels he, you know what I'm saying? He sing, he sings, he sings Elton John all the time, huh? Rap star loves Elton John out there in the UK, right? Huh? Rap star guy got the little blue sunglasses and stuff like that, like Elton John. Over here in America, we like the guy that played the piano in Stevie Wonder. Rap star over there, he likes the Elton John. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their taste. Everybody got their taste. <laughs> you say, Jackie said. Jackie said, I never know why people was, why I never understood why some females were attracted to Prince. I, I don't know. Look at Savage. Savage like Elton John. Savage like Elton John. 
<laughs> I don't know one song from Melton John. Huh? I know what I know. What was the other guy's name? Not um um. Is it Beethoven? Not Beethoven. Damn. Who's that guy's name? And I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. But I won't do that. I used to like that song. What's his name? I used to like that song. But I won't do that. Um, but all right, let's go back to the to, to Supreme Matias, Supreme Matias. So this is the reason why Subra Matias speaks so highly of Devin the Dream Haney and speak bad, not bad, but he don't give T from Lopez the benefit of the doubt. If you recall, Panda, 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 Panda. See, Panda don't want to come to Punch Run Boxing because he tried to run from, from, from Punch Run Boxing. Meatloaf, yes, Meatloaf. Panda, Subra Matias manager, I'm sorry, trainer, don't want to come to Punch Run Boxing because he's running. Huh? He's not all about. So Bram Matias, he was always about Devin the Dream Haney. That's what he said. Devin Haney will fire this one. No, 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 no. Devin Haney is the best in 140 and stuff like that. Yeah, she's the best. No, it's because you used to train him. You used to be in the corner of Devin the Dream Haney. Let's pull out some receipts, folks. Panda, panda, panda. Look at panda, panda. Look who's in Devin Haney's corner. Look who's been training Devin Haney since the amateurs. Ladies and gentlemen, this was in the Dominican Republic versus Henry Lazadeño La Bazooka Martinez. Panda was training Devin the Dream Haney. There was a good fight right here in the amateurs and stuff like that. That's why, folks. Got him, got him. That's why, that's why Panda, Panda, that's why Panda is always on Haney's side. See that, folks? They can't run away from punch run boxing. Don't run away from your boy punch run boxing. So when you hear him say, Devin will fight him, Devin will do this, Devin's the best, Devin's the best, it's because Panda was on Devin in Devin Haney's corner on the come up. Yep. That's Panda. This was a, the, the the one of the Caribbean tournaments out there um years ago. This is before Devin Haney turned pro and Hendry turned pro. Hendry, the one with the blue, is uh is, is a fighter that I advise. Um, this was a great fight though. Um, Devin Haney won in, in a, I think about one point. Um, but it was a good fight. Um, so yeah, it's Henry Las uh, Henry La Bazooka Sadio Martinez on the blue, and Devin Haney was on the red. Panda was his trainer. Um, used to travel, used to travel with the team. So that's what it is. That's why he always stated he trained Haney when he was young. Yeah, so that's why he's. That's why he that's why he likes um 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 Devin Haney. So he likes Devin Haney. Elvis Facts punch, yeah. Punch never misses. We never miss out here, man. King Kling, bo, 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 bo. We never miss out here, son. We never miss out here. So when people even say, oh, there's favoritism, favoritism, everybody got the little little favoritism somewhere, somehow. Uh Panda, Mr. Sanchez, Panda is the train of Subra Matias. Yeah, man, he moves all the hey, yo, that yo, Bill Haney had Devin moving. We get we get from here, 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 coaches, here, here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Always been like that. Always been like that. I mean, hey, look at the position that Devin Haney is right now. Look at the position where Devin Haney is in right now. So we could say that Bill Haney has done an incredible job. An incredible job. We can't can't say anything about that. He's done an incredible job. Um, but yeah. <laughs> he said Panda is the bear. <laughs> Shy. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. But yeah, man, this is gonna be a great fight. Um, I, what type of statement should Subir Matias do send? I think that this is for me, in my opinion, this fight. I don't know which win will be bigger. Liam Liam Paru or the Ponce victory. I might I might respect this this win better than the Ponce victory because you know what I'm saying um Paru I think that it, but it's like I was saying earlier man these guys are really not fighting any top fighters in my opinion. Does that does Haney Senior speak Spanish? No, nah, I don't know. He was moving and shaking in Latino streets. <laughs> How Dev don't got the Hispanic fans? I don't know, right? He got 15 fights in Mexico. I don't know. I don't know why. He should have it. He should have it. I mean, I think they would have catered to the Latino fan base and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Um, T, it, it, uh, um, Nest, Nestor Gibbs is... is, 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 is 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 Dominican and they cater to Devin Haney, so you know hey, that's a Latino, I guess. You feel me? I mean, but that thirty four people looking no and the lavas, the lavas is short today. Matias seventy eight percent, twenty two percent got. What is it? Is it? Is it? Do y'all got? Is Subran Matias? A more skillful fighter than Liam Paro. Is it that's the reason why people is picking Subra Matias? I got Subra Matias being Liam Paro, but are we breaking it down? Or, or that's the breakdown that he's going to. Does he got better a better movement than 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 than, than Liam Paro? Does he got a better jab, punch selection? Has he better? He has a better resume. Has he fought better fighters? Um he said, hey yo, Charles said. Ness was a federal informant, yes or no? Hey, yo, that's what the paper says. You know what I'm saying? That's the information is public records. And I think that um, nobody could deny that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody could deny that case. So you feel me? That, those are public records. Those are public records. You know what I'm saying? I think that, I think he got, he's gotten shamed enough that it doesn't even need me to really time in on that like that. But I mean, it's public records. It's, it's not. It's not even a. It's not even. You heard what what, what Shakur Stevenson says. Nope, not going to be able to do it. <laughs> hey man. Hey. People, God, people. Hey man. Hey man. You heard what what this guy said, right? Um, uh, um, Shakur Stevenson when he was when he was a punch run boxing, he was talking about it. You you saw the interview, remember? You ain't see the you, yo, guess so you ain't see the interview with Shakur Stevenson when he was talking about it. Hey man, that's something that you gotta live, man. You got you gonna have to live, bro. You're gonna have to live with that. You know what I'm saying? And look, man, I hey yo, people. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how people, man. I think nowadays, man. Hey yo, my brother, my brother got locked up. Because of an uninformant, I for sure seen it on YouTube. Nope, not gonna be able to do it. No, you you ain't see you ain't. And he, and he put on his story on his IG once one, one time. Look, I say it like this, man. I can respect what he does in the boxing circuit, but that's something that he's going to always have to answer to. He's going to always have to answer to him. Maybe he doesn't want to. As a matter of fact, to be honest, man, I'll, if I was him, I'll talk about it. I, I think I think people will stop talking. I think I think I'll talk about it in depth and, and and talk about your mistakes, talk about your mistakes and shit like that. You feel me? But it's one thing to be that, and there's one thing to be in the form. It's one thing, right? It's a difference. It's a difference. Don't remember where I think the Eddie just kicked in. That's the true reason facts you definitely right. Sir. I don't think people are breaking it down. I think most are going for Matias due to his power. I think so too. I don't think that people is breaking this thing down. I don't think they're breaking any fight down with Matias. I think there's been a very, a very uh, a wave of 
just acceptance of Subir Matias. I mean, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but several fighters have done more than Matias, and he's already getting the benefit of the doubt because of hype. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, I'd rather hype. I'd, I'd rather people hype fighters than, than devalue the fighters and stuff like that. It just keeps us more on our toes. Um, there's more anticipation to keep on watching boxing. So I'd rather people do hype Subir Matias, but I'm just going to call it out when people trying to act like he's better or done more than fighters that are skillfully better and done more. And then here comes when the people be like, yo, but yo, yo, but you're in tier, you're punching. Hey, yo, my man, he's a better skillful fighter, a better accomplished fighter in the amateurs and a better accomplished fighter in the professional level and a better accomplished fighter in your respective division. So why, why is this got to be on some, nah, everybody know what it is. Rap store boxing down and said, Eddie Hearn is a businessman. I give that. I mean, hey, I think st- I, I, I think I think it's a smart move for them to cater to the Puerto Rican fan base. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. You feel me? I knew that was gonna happen, but everybody thought I was a hater. Now, nobody want to tell me your punch. It's true what you said, your punch. Your punch is true. Remember when you said that shit that they're going to they're going to avoid T.O. and really go out and get a and get a and get a deal. And then, you know what I'm saying? Fight a couple of fights to garner the Puerto Rican fan base. And then that fight will happen later. I've been I was telling people. But y'all wanted to believe the cap. Y'all wanted to believe the hand that he never put on the cast. He never had surgery. The, the Las Vegas, the, the Las Vegas, Nevada, the Nevada State Commission never put him on suspension. You never seen him took a break like that. And I don't know why y'all even I don't I don't understand. I don't understand why y'all never why y'all ain't give me the benefit of the doubt when I was just giving y'all receipts after receipts after receipts. I wonder why people wasn't giving me the benefit of the doubt. Why Pyro getting robbed in PR? Hey yo, Pyro was a good fighter, man. I think I, I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think there's a 50 50 fight in terms of skill set. I'm rooting for Subir Matias because I want to see Subir Matias versus Tiafimo Lopez. You know when it when it's ready. That's why. You know, I've been saying I've been saying that even before this Subir Matias. I've been saying this about the Puerto Rican fan base. I've been talking about the Puerto Rican fan base, and I'm way more than the Dominican fan base, huh? Pitbull isn't getting Cato by Roley. I think that, uh, yeah, I think Pitbull might beat Roley, but Roley looks serious, man. He ain't talking a lot of shit like that. He ain't, he's, he, I think he's very, I, I think Roley is serious. If, if Roley wasn't serious, he never would have changed trainers and go to Salas. And I think that that's, uh, Celeste is a good trainer, you know? I think he's I, I think he's ready for Pitbull Cruz. And I, I don't think that Pitbull Cruz is gonna manhandle Roley. See, that's the difference. I think that Pitbull, I think the Pitbull Cruz will manhandle a lot of a lot of fighters and really overwhelm a lot of fighters. But to overwhelm overwhelm Roley, I don't think you're gonna overwhelm Roley. Roley is rough and rugged. Roley is a fighter, he ain't a boxer. So if, if Pitbull gonna try to fight him, Roley gonna fight back. And a lot of people that have sparred with Roley, even Javante Tan Davis said that that that. The most power that he's ever felt out of any of his opponent was actually Roley. So people don't even like sparring with Roley. Huh? He cuts you, he stu- he cuts you, he hits you with elbows and stuff like that. People, people said that they'll never they never want to spar with Roley. He's just too rough, rough and rugged. So I could see an upset with Roley winning. You know, I could I could see an upset with Roley winning. And I think that for Roley, for his career, you know, I, I said it, I said it the other day, he's been a political fighter, you know, he haven't really earned what he's gotten. You know, I feel like he lost to to, to Jackson Marinez. I feel like he probably would have lost to Bar- Borasso. And you know, and he just got the Javante Tan Davis base off his mouth. He got the um the the opportunity to fight for the for the 140 pound strap. Just based on the politics of the sport of boxing, they pay that shit off for the WBA. I know that PB that the, the WBA is on the on, on PBC's pockets. So um, maybe this is gonna be the first time that that Roley should should prove that he is where he's at for a reason because of his fist and not because of the political or his mouth. I want to see Roley get where he got or earn what he got because of what he did in the ring, not because he talked his way into a fight. Or because the politics, maybe the promotions, uh, um, um, put put an envelope, um, put money in the envelope and gave it to WBA. 
Both of these guys are on well age in their prime. You know, I, and, and that's one thing I like about Subra Matias versus Pyro too. That that um they're in their prime. Pyro is 27 years old. Uh, um, Subra Matias is gonna be 30, 32 years old. You feel me? That's not too old, but to learn some new tricks for Subra Matias, I just don't think that he's a backward fighter. I think that um and look, Bandas also stated that you know Matias always lose the first couple of rounds. If 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 Pyro can manage to outpoint um Subra Matias, and this is what I mean, it's either Matias knocks you out because Matias doesn't win rounds like that. You know, Matias doesn't win rounds. Look at all his fights, he's always losing the first several rounds, you know. The good thing about it is that he doesn't let the he, he don't let the judges dictate his fight. But once it goes to the chance, well, once it goes to the 12th round, I don't think that Matias has the, the 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 capability to have that point system in his head to win some fights on the cards. So if, if Liam Pyro can, can manage to take this fight to the cards, you know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a tough decision. I could see an upset. I could see an upset, and probably is, and probably we shouldn't even call it an upset because I do believe, looking at these bo bo both of these guys' resume, it shouldn't even be an upset. It should be a 50-50 fight. Both of these guys have fought similar competition. Um, both of these guys got got good skills. I think they're in the same level in terms of their competition and their resume and what they have done thus far in the professional level. Um, you know, uh, Liam Liam Pyro has fought way more on the domestic side of things, but has stayed out here in America to to and, and spar a lot of these fighters. But sparring is different. Um, I think this is I think this is the perfect fight. This is a perfect fight, um, in my opinion. Tio Sun a contract. Yo, boy, why the fuck you ain't tell me that Chicharron de Pollo, Dominicano punch? ¿Cómo tú me vas a decir eso, mi hermano? Tú sabes que chicharrón de pollo es de, eh, de nosotros, ¿eh? ¿A, ¿A ti no te gusta chimichurri también? ¿You don't like chimichurri? The Dominican, the, the, the Dominican Big Mac? That shit won the best fried chicken award. <laughs> chicharrón. Chicharrón is pork, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Chicharron de pollo with low lemon. Gotta put lemon, man. You gotta put lemon, bro. It even be our southern fried chicken. Nah, chicharron de pollo is good. Chicharron de pollo is good, man. Yeah, man. I haven't, haven't had chicharron de pollo. See, there's certain things that when you grow up and something that you've been eating practically your whole life, and then you just stop eating, you pick on other things. Demon Ote, Demon Minamano, que lo que? C Gutter in the building. What's good, C Gutter? What's good? He says, so Matias Duck Tio to fight Pyro. We ain't never heard no Eddie Hearn send a contract to Tia Fima Lopez. That's what we all know, right? Huh? Did he? Did Eddie Hearn send a contract to Tiafima Lopez? Anybody? Anybody gonna create some narrative, huh? No? They're gonna give Matias a pass. They're gonna give Matias a pass that they will never give Tiafima Lopez a pass. No Delahaney a pass. No Shakur Stevenson a pass. No, no Javante Tan Davis a pass. Yeah, this guy's the oldest one, but he doesn't get a pass. I'm sorry, but he gets a pass. He gets a pass. Come on, y'all. Come on. But it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Going to that Puerto Rican fan base. We never, we never say, yo, let's hear from Lopez. Get the fan base of Honduras. Yo, let's give a little bit of time. Even though the Demahini is 25 years old. Let's let's give them time. Let's give them time. But with Subir Mati is 32 years old. Let's give him time. Let's give him time. People don't keep it consistent. That's what I'm talking about. People want to pick and choose. People want to pick and choose. You know, I like certain fighters, and I, but but there's certain fighters that I don't like how they move in business wise. Before they signed with Matchroom Box, and I didn't like the way that Sobrino Matias team was moving because they never put them out here in New York City on the East Coast, Philly, Atlantic City, like that to feature. Um, but the Tio send the contract. You picking and choosing right now? What you talking about, bro? What are you, what are you talking about? The the Tio send a contract. Hold on, I got you right here. Hold on. I got you right here, brother. 
One second. I got you right here. I don't even got to answer that. I got you right here. saying that the Teofimo Lopez sent you guys a contract. Yeah, it, um, he did send a contract. Um, I didn't know at the time they called me. I found out the second day. It was real late when they when I guess it happened. I was called the second day. There was a contract, but there was a contract to fight February 8th. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, answer now. Go ahead, Jose. Do you want me to answer or do you want Panda to answer it? Do you want me to answer or you want Panda to answer it? Should I replay it? Panda, Panda's going to answer Jose's question. Forward saying that the Teofimo Lopez sent you guys a contract. Yeah, it, um, he did send a contract. Um, I didn't know at the time they called me. I found out the second day. It was real late when they when I guess it happened. I was called the second day. There was a contract, but there was a contract to fight February 8th. <laughs> Yo, man, these guys over here, they easy work, Charles, bro. They easy work, man. They easy work, bro. All these YouTube need to talk about. Yo, all these people is easy work. Like, they come over here to ask me a question. I said... I, I I didn't need an answer. They answered it for you. Now, 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 what, now what are you going to say? He said, that's not for, that's February 8th. So why he didn't fight February 8th? And now you want, you want Tio Lopez to send him another contract with June. Why doesn't Matias send Tio, Tio a contract? We already know that Tio sent him a contract. He was not ready. Why don't you say Eddie Hearn sent Tio a contract? We already know that Tio already sent a contract. Why don't you say that? Answer me that question then. Can't injury, injury. Hey, yo, Jose, Jose, that's it. You already, I already got you on that. Now you at, tell me why Eddie Hearn and Subir Matia didn't send Tio a contract like they send Michelle Rivera a contract, like they send Liam Paro a contract. He ignore me. What injury, bro? What injury? What injury, Jose? Hey, yo, I'm going to say, if you don't answer this question, if you don't answer my question, I answer your question. Now answer my question. If you don't answer my question, I'm blocking you because I don't like you, you being fake. Why Eddie Hearn didn't set Teofimo Lopez a contract? That's all I want to hear. Give me an answer right now, Jose. You're going to be blocked. Give me, give me a real answer. Give me a real answer. You're going to be on time out for the day. Hmm? Huh? Come on, come on, man. I'm waiting, Jose. Why? Why Subra Matias, Eddie Hearn, didn't send Tiafima Lopez a contract? Because he's the one that needs to be ready. So call me when you're ready. What money is Hearn offering Tio? Ain't Tio the money? Th that's, your, that's your answer? So you're telling me that Eddie Hearn got no money? Eddie Hearn got no money? Eddie Hearn, the zone, got no money to offer Tiafima Lopez? Is that what you're trying to say, Jose? Why didn't Hearn offer T.O. and top rank a contract to fight Subra Matias, sir? He said, now, nah, oh, is T.O. the money man? No, he's not the money man. Javante Tan Davis is the money man. And Ryan Garcia is the money man. Now go. And that's the... See, you don't, you, you're going to be blocked. You're going to be... Because you don't want to answer the question. I'm going to ask you one more time, Jose. Stop being a fucking fraud out here. Stop being a fake. I, I answer all your questions. You answer me why the fuck didn't Subra Matias, when he's ready to fight Tiafim Lopez, and he already got new money, why did he send the contract to Tiafim Lopez? Ask her that question. Still don't answer. Yeah, you block. You out of here. You out of here. You out of here. You don't want to answer no questions. Get out of here. I don't like fraud. I don't like fakes. <laughs> you out of here. You out of here. I gave you the light. I give you a spotlight and you're going to bullshit me? Come on, man. Nah, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to block it. Who's next? Who next? Who next? Who want to ask me a question? Just answer my question. That's all I ask. Answer me. Answer my question. Why Eddie Hearn ain't sent here from Lopez a contract? Huh?
Because this was Subriel Matias said. This is what Subriel Matias said. See, hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second, sir. Hold on. F February. Let's make it happen by the end of March. Will Subriel Matias would have been ready by the end of March? No. Early April? No. Because he just got into training this past week. So he was never going to go, he was never going to be ready for late March eight weeks ago. So what, what, so now uh, uh, a tear from Lopez need to wait for Subra Matias once to be ready. This was Subra Matias. End of March. What end of March? If you just, if you just started training this, this um, 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 last week. You were still rehabbing eight weeks ago. So you was not ready for Tia Fama Lopez in March. You was not ready for Tia Fama Lopez in April. This is Subra Matias. Oh, Junior, thank you. You know what I was talking Thank you. I like that, Junior, bro. You know why? Because yesterday I was about to do a video for that, yo. Damn, great minds think alike, Junior. I was literally... Thinking about that yesterday, and I was actually going to do a video about that last night. Literally, no lie, I was going to do a video about that last night. They because I was going to do a video that there and no, there's nobody in top rank in the 140 pound division. If Crawford is going to move up to the 154 and fight the winner of Tim Zoo and stuff like that, and they stripped him from his title, but I re I don't think they will strip him. Let's say he would vacate the world title, huh? Giovanni versus Tia from Lopez at 147. I was going to do a video about that last night, bro. To be honest. Mm. I like that. I like that move. I like that move for Tio. I also like that move. Jason said Tio and Matias are going to be fighting. Definitely brewing. Yeah, of course it's going to happen. I'm just letting the people know that it was not going to happen. Anytime soon because of Subra Matias team. And they know it. Hey yo, none of the Subra Matias. I'm gonna tell you like that. Even Subra Matias like my shit. Hold on. Shout out to Subra Matias. Hold on. Hold on. Bro, even Subra Matias like my the video I sent him. That's Subra Matias. Look, he likes it. He likes that that the, um the, the senior shit. He likes it. We want to get we want to get Subra Matias on the show. We want to get Subra Matias on the show. I heard Giovanni's on his undercard in the summer. That's the only thing that Giovanni going to be fighting. Nah, Gi Gi Giovanni going to be fighting, I believe, May 18th, I think. I think. May something. He's going to be in the undercard of Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez fight, right? Yeah, I like that fight. If he moves up. I like that fight. On his undercar, but yeah, man, it's, it's it's I mean, it's good news. It's good news. What's the other news out there, man? What's the other news out there? Do I see the? Do I see uh uh um, T from Lopez Senior? Yes, I'm uh, um, on on the live on the last live. He went in. T from Lopez Senior went in on Subir Matias. Cabrón. 
nosotros, cabrón. Nosotros queremos pelear con los mejores. Eso es todo lo que yo estoy diciendo ahorita. Tú sabes, es boxing, bro. I got nothing against nobody. Everybody that steps in that ring, I respect. Shout out, shout out. I think that'd be a good fight too, a boots and and and, and, and Tio. I like that fight. Let me see you, son. No, I ain't hear that though. You summons, <laughs> he summons senior year, remember? Because I said he's missing. Because he was missing. <laughs> Yo, but that would have been good. It's true, right? In Puerto Rico, think about it. Imagine they would have had Subriel Matias versus Michel Rivera. And the co-main event would be Carlos Adamas versus Edgar Balanga. Woo! If people want to talk about Dominican versus Puerto Rican, can you imagine that in Puerto Rico? And then they build it with, with a couple of baseball players from Puerto Rico and Dominican so they could build that fight. Edgar Belanga versus Carlos Adamas on the co-main of Subriel Matias and Michel Rivera. Yo, oh, put that in New York City, bro. Put that in New York City. Oh, oh, I say Puerto Rico. That would be fire, right? That would be fire. Edgar Belanga versus Carlos Adamas, PR versus DR, Michelle Rivera versus Subriel Matias. Fuego. 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 And I like, to be honest, I'll be rooting for Michelle. But I'll be rooting for Edgar. I I, I keep it real. I'm gonna say I, I'm not. I don't, I don't play that thing. I think it was good for the community. I think it would be good for the community. I will support Michelle, but I will be going for Edgar. I will be supporting Edgar versus even Carlos Adamas, and I'll be supporting Michelle Rivera versus Subir Matias. Yo, that would be big, bro. Pause. You always got something to say about Matias negative. Here we go. Here we, here we go. Here we go with the with the mistresses. Here we go with the mistresses now. You always got something to say negative about Sri Matias. Porque tú siempre estás hablando mierda de ese tigre. Y porque, why are you talking about my man like that? Why are you talking about I, Please, please, beta males, quit it already with you. What's wrong with these Sri Matias fans? Diablo, es un matatán, es pelea, he's dangerous. ¿Qué más que tú dices? What, what, what more do I have to say about him? Sheesh. What more you, what, what, what do you want me to say about Subrema Tears? He's the IBF champion, right? I can't say who he beat because he hasn't beat. What, what you want me to, what, 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 all right, Lewis, what you want me to say about him? Hold on, you speak about him, Fair, you speak about him. I'm going to put the resume up. You glamour us with his, what, what he's done. Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead. Come on, go ahead, Lewis. Hey yo, hey yo, he beat Urkashev. Hey yo, Bonse. Hey yo, hey yo, Anahnyanya. How he beat Juka Luka Lasuka. Hey yo, Malik Hawkins. What the fuck do you want me to say about Suprema Tears? What do you want me to brag about, bro? Huh? Hey yo, yo, you remember when he beat Shirt Urkashev? 
Hey, yo, remember he beat Bosa, retired him, yo, hey, yo, and he beat Anayanya, right? He got him right back. Yeah, the guys get back, and then he beat this guy with Cha Chang, Shuka Laka, Shuka Hunka Kaka, huh? And then he beat Malik Hawkins. <laughs> What you want me to say? The hell you want me to say? Huh? You want me to say, hey, yo, he beat Devin Haney. Hey, yo, he beat T.O. Hey, yo, he beat Sandor. Hey, yo, he beat Jose Ramirez. Hey, yo, he beat Josh Taylor. Hey, yo, he beat Gary Antoine Russell. Hey, yo, he beat Alisa. Uh, 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 what you call it? They're like, what do you want me to say, bro? Y'all, y'all, y'all new fan base. Y'all don't even got nothing to brag about. Oh, yo, but he killed somebody, though. Even when he killed the motherfucker, y'all wasn't even talking about him. As a matter of fact, he killed somebody in the cone and, 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 and the undercard of Tiafima Lopez. Y'all wasn't talking about no Subra Matia. Y'all was talking about the, the his performance versus Nakatani. Dika always got something negative to say. No, it's nothing. It's, it's really not too much I could say. That's what it is. That's what it is, Luis Ortiz. It's not so much I could say. Look at the top 20. He hasn't beaten over these four, Michelle Rivera, Josh Taylor, not even, he, not even El Viejo. Pele, ni, mira, subimos ni, ni pelea con este tigre, con este tigre. Ni pelea con este tigre, espera, mi gente. Que pelea con ese tigre también. Ni con él peleado el tigre. What you want me to say, bro? What's wrong with these folks, man? I like that wave. I like that fight. And I think much of it. And I, and I, and I think Matias is going to beat the crap out of Hitches. What I've been saying, I want him to beat the crap out of Pyro. I want him to beat the crap out of Hitchens. And then we move on to the team from Lopez in June 2025 because I know that's the smartest shit that his team is going to do. He beat Shakalaka Shukalaka. <laughs> that's what he beat. That's who he be. I'm not playing around. That's who he be. That's who he be. Look, he be Bon Trachan, Juka Laka Fakasaka. That's who he be, bro. Fuck you want me to say? Oh, yo, but yo, but 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 Bon Trachan, Juka Laka Saka Lakaka is it was 18 and 0. He was 18 and 0, though. <laughs> Hey, yo, but he was undefeated, though. He was undefeated, though. Sugar like a makata laka lakas. Oh, man. Come on, man. What's wrong with people, man? What's good? For me, this is for me. This, it, it, as much as much as undefeated fighters, for me, it's still. <laughs> <laughs> His resume is still to me. His resume is still doodle to me, man. I don't know what anybody say. Huh? It's still doodle to me. Talk to me. Hey, yo, talk to me what Super Matias look like this. Talk to me what Super Matias look like this. And then we talk. <laughs> Man, I'm trying my best, bro. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Let me know when he earned this, bro. Let me know when he earned this. When he earned this, then we talk, Luis Ortiz. Huh? Fake ass big poppy. Huh? Let me know when he get this. Do you know what this means, brother? Do you know what this means, man? Huh? Usted tan loco, eh? <laughs> Palomazo todito, te están hablando mentiras. ¿Eh? ¿Y qué es eso? ¿Tú sabes lo que es eso? Eso es Lineo Champion. Eso I beat the best to be the best. Y tiene dos el tigre. ¿Qué tiene su primer matía, mamá huevazo? ¿Usted? Eh? ¿Ah? <laughs> he said, he said, like, like, th that's what they go. You hating on Puerto Rico. See, this is what it is. This is what it is. Because you critique su primer matías, they think that su primer matías is Puerto Rico. Oh, you say something about Super Matias? You hate Puerto Rico. 
Oh, you hate Daddy Yankee. You hate, you hate, you hate Carolina. You hate, you hate San Juan. You hate eh, Bayamón. You hate Aguadilla. You hate uh, eh, eh, Jennifer Lopez. Oh, no, you hate everything Puerto Rico. No, bro, you talking man shit. We're talking about Subrel Matias. We ain't talking about Puerto Rico. Oh, because we because we don't praise Subrel Matias. That means, oh, we hate Puerto Rico. Y'all ain't even was fans of, 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 of Subrel Matias. The fuck y'all came Hey, yo, where y'all came from? Huh? Where y'all came from? I ain't never met y'all dudes in my life. Think of these newfound Matias fans. Who are y'all? Y'all never was around here in the boxing community. <laughs> Just last year, that when they were saying that the only, the only, the only guy they got was Shakur Stevenson. Let's be real, bro. Just last year, they were saying the only guy we got is Shakur Stevenson. Huh? Super Edgar Belanga was the was the only shit y'all had on the on, on, on the on the male side. This guy just came, showed up, and now he's God. Get the hell out of here, bro. None of y'all was Super Matias fan. Super Matias got no fans, bro. Super Matias never performed in New York. They didn't perform in, in, in Puerto Rico when he made it. When his name got something, yeah, he he got brought up in Puerto Rico. He been in Mexico. He's in Mexico. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Hey, yo, man, get out of here with that shit, man. Y'all got to stop already, man. Just stop and be real. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Never met a Super Matias fan in my damn life. In my damn life. In my damn life. <laughs> yo, I went to the damn. Hey, yo, I went to this day, his last fight. I went to his last fight. Yeah, Matias comes. Yeah, he comes out with with Mexican songs, man. What you talking about? He said, "Does Tio versus Matias happen this year?" No, man. Matias team is smart. They're not going after no damn Tio. He said, "You the fan punch." I've been told about Matias. Hey, yo, look, I talked about Matias. I said the same thing about Matias. Look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm out of here, though, because today's live is weak, though. But shout out to the people that showed up. 29, man. We trying to get we trying to get people out here, bro. Nobody, nah, man. I got to change. I got to change something in my channel. Here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Look at that. Look how I was pumping. Look how I was pumping Super Matias. Look, Matias, the new Trinidad. Super Matias, TKO, Bonsa, the new Tito Trinidad of boxing. February 26, 2023. Come on, man. I've been pumping Super Matias, bro. I've been pumping Super Matias. I was trying to hype him up. But then when I thought that he was going to, when, when I thought when he was going, when he was going to stand 10 toes down. And he called Tio Cobarde. I said, I. Right. And then when Tio sent him a contract, and then he said, I know ready. That showed me something. I said, oh, this is not the guy. I thought this was the guy. I thought he was going to be that shit. But nah, he's just a another political, another manufactured fighter. He's just another political manufactured fighter. I thought he was going to answer the bell. They sent him a contract. I thought he was ready. Because I told them. On that interview, I said, just call out all these dudes. You got to ring. And even Super Matias wasn't with it. He said, ¿Qué tú quieres que yo haga? Que me ponga una cama, un, un, una, una, eh, una máscara de payaso. That's what he told me. He doesn't feel the need to call out people. But then he learned he had to. So I thought that when the contract was set, he was going to be ready. And he wasn't. He wasn't. Now he's fighting Liam Paru. And who's going to fight next? Oh, that was Clout Chase. Clout Chase a name to get your fame. That's it. Punch talk about Keith Thurman right now. I ain't going to talk about no Keith Thurman. That's it, man. He let me down. Yo, I'm out of here, folks, man. 27 people looking on. Probably tomorrow's a better live. But thanks for the people that showed up. Love y'all. God bless. On to the next. Peace out.